had a haul back in December. <laughs> Not too much of a big haul. But anyway, these were things that I had bought in December. In fact, these are things that I had ordered in there. And this little beauty, this Erin Condren notebook, is, oh, I mean, plan, Life Planner was one of the things. And I also had some items in a mystery box, and which, uh, I can pull it out real quick. I was sent one of these. So if you guys have gotten your mystery boxes from Erin Condren, for those of you who are Erin Condren fans, uh, I had one, but <laughs> when I went to edit, my mouth was doing this while my audio was back at the first reels. I was not too happy of that. Tried to straighten it out with... Uh, Windows Movie Maker, uh, and it was no bueno. So, uh, <laughs> that was that. I ended up ditching the film. But that's what today's video is all about. My haul from the day. And so, let's get started with this. Hopefully, I don't have to edit. And by the way, I for those of you who are familiar with Filmora, I think that's how you pronounce it let me know and by the way if you're seeing this halo effect around me I don't know what happened uh, I haven't filmed in about a week where I filmed my uh, haul on uh, my experience with uh, Handmade Titan University and I did a review on that and I should have a haul up in this little corner right here uh, so and by the way if you if you're new to this channel please like and subscribe like this video if you want to see more videos then hit the notification bell and it helps me out a lot as I am on my road to 1,000 subscribers Woohoo! as mentioned my last month I got this little, well not last month, it's not January anymore, it's February. And back in December, I got this little beauty. And for those of you who have seen my hauls on Erin Condren before, might have seen this, but uh, I got the, I hope this is not any pertinent information. Uh, I got the black and white, and I did not get the color version of Erin Condren's Life Planner uh, and I have it in the horizontal design. Today's vid uh, haul is going to be a mixture of a couple of things because the other day I went ham at um, Pat Catan's. Didn't feel like doing the haul so you might see pieces that I had bought from there. Today I went to uh, I went to Bath, Bath, Bath and Beyond and I went looking for a lint roller. In case you're not familiar with a lint roller, what a lint roller does is picks up all the little nastiness. Uh, by me being a crafter, you know I'm going to have little pieces of paper all over the place. I also have a cat. She's right there. You can barely see her, but she's right there. Uh, and you know, cats shed. I didn't realize they shed just as much as a dog and everything. But, yeah. And But anyway, I went in search for a lint roller. And I think I'm out of luck, but I'm going to try a couple more places. One being Walgreens and the other one being the dollar store. And I think after all else fails... I'm going to Walmart because I heard Walmart has everything. And I also heard that Maynard's, in case you guys have a Maynard's in your area, and I heard that they have them as well. So somewhere I'm going to get a get one besides at Ikea. Well, who knew? <laughs> but anyway, so that's that thing. 
And then I found, have you ever heard of these? This is supposed to be called flawless because your girl is getting little chin hairs under here like uh, nothing else. Anyway, I got this. It retails at Bed Bath and Mind, but Beyond for a whopping 20 bucks. And this thing looks like a tube of lipstick. And so I'm going to try this. Try to see if it works on these little boogers right here. And I will let you know in a separate video how I like this thing. Because uh, your girl needs to take care of some business up in here. So that's those two things I bought at there and I went the next place I went to is my happy hunting place otherwise known as Hobby Lobby and the reason why I went but really I needed to get stuff because I gotten into the art of planners so and if this Aaron Condren's any indication that was the tip of the pot uh, that um uh, you know back in 2015 here is 2019 and I'm ready to go all out that doesn't mean I'm gonna stop doing the scrapbooking bit videos any projects I make for swaps or anything else this is just another layer of my business I'm getting into and if I like it start liking it on the personal level well then I, in fact, I already said that I was going to make stickers, so be on the lookout for those, that, and that's something that will be added to my Etsy shop as soon as I perfect doing all this stuff with um, the, that's all I can say. Please tell me not to go looking for something and finding other things. <laughs> okay? Because the first thing I found is, and I'm not going to go get it because it's where it needs to be, is one of those things that you, uh, that holds the draft. Uh, it's supposed to be a draft catcher. I don't know what you call it, the official name of it. But it helps block the drafts because in this area of the house it gets mighty drafty. And I started to order it on uh, Amazon. And, uh, again, my mind said, wait to see if you can get it cheaper elsewhere. And Hobby Lobby had it cheaper, 40% off of this little thing that all you do is remove the single score blade and pop this little bad boy on. And it's supposed to do double scoring. And I see by the little ridges that that's what it, exactly what it's supposed to do. So I got this. And by the way, it retails for 14 I mean, excuse me, 14 hmm. It retails for $19.99, and I got 40% off. How special is that? I told you that I am supposed to be able to... I was going there for the clearance items because so many of you guys out there said that you got so many so so many things on clearance. I got four charms and this little one ooh I don't know if you can see them. They're little baubles. There's one, two, three there's five of these things on this chain, on this little thingy. And if I could just go right up, see these things. Yeah. They're cute. Then I got a a fish with the word with the name Jesus in there. And this one was not on clearance. This one was not. It's a cute thing. My birthstone, which is July, and it's the ruby. I got this at for 62 cents on clearance. And because 
even though I don't play for anybody, I am a musician. Once you put your fingers on the piano and you play, you're a musician. I don't care how professional you are, you are a musician. But I got a musical note, and this also costs 62 cents. So that's that. And my idea is to dress up either the Erin Condren planner or this thing. This is my best find for the day. This thing is called uh, a. This is an A5 planner. It's a color wash. And it's by Cardium. And I thought, because of the fact that I didn't want to pay 20 bucks for an Erin Condren when I get my petite journals next week, uh, I did. I got this instead, and it fits them wonderfully because I have a petite planner in my purse and um, and I measured it up against this thing and it works perfectly well not perfectly because it's still got the six little uh, holes in it you know the the what do you call those things uh, I forgot um, six ring hole things uh, and this retailed for $39.99 and I got this thing for $9.99 whoo $30 off the retail price I was like come to mama so hopefully now and complete with the order I did with Erin Condren for next week that's supposed to come next week hopefully I am done with planners for right now and I'll show you why in a moment and speaking of which, I got one of these little boogers. Now you know this is going to be serious when you get a holder to hold your planners in. I like, the, I, I like, I will admit, I do like the planner holders that Erin Condren has, but it doesn't have anything to carry it. And I won't say that this is a steal because this little booger was a whopping thirty-nine. I mean, twenty-nine ninety-nine, and it was not on sale. But I said to myself, I need something to carry around with when I'm using my planners. So, what it looks like on the inside, I can get it open and. It looks like together, Patricia. It looks like this on the inside. This is where you can hold things, and I can hold, I believe, all three planners. The the life planner, the, another one that I'm about ready to show you, and the one I just showed you has three little pockets where I could put pins, pencils, stickers, terms, you name it. And this little, these little things to help dry it, keep the planner on the inside nice and dry. That's that one. And I will try it in a little bit. Not on camera. I think I might be able to fit a nice small Bible in here, but I don't know. And that's it, I believe, for <laughs> for Hobby Lobby. Last, <laughs> I snuck into Michael's. By sneak, I was supposed I had a dinner reservation with my parents and I'm going to tell you my funny story in just a moment and I got one of the hot buy papers I have been seeking this for a minute ever since uh, treasure, uh, Cherished Treasures mentioned about this paper pad and this was eight this was 70% off of I believe it was 19 
$1.99 for these normally. But anyway, I got some money. 70% off of that. And this is on clearance. Funny story. I went up to the register. I felt sorry for the uh, I felt sorry for the cashier because she asked one employee to uh, help her out. And she says, sure, no problem. The employee never came back to help bring out and there was a super long line. And then when she got to, then when another employee started ringing me up, she said, uh, the total is, uh, 22. Which I don't mind paying, paying 22, but, uh, dollars, but, uh, if things are on sale, things are on sale. Apparently, they did not program those cash registers, right? Because this one rung up to be $14, and I told her it was on, yeah, $14.99. And I told her that this was $5. So she looked at it and she said, oh yeah, I see the tag. So she had to put in her code to overwrite the $14.99. Then this one came in at its normal price. And I said these were 70% off. I asked her if it was still 70% off and she says yes. So it, I ended up, it ended up going from 22 to half of that, which was $11 or something. So that's my story for today as far as that. Now for some stuff that I did get last week. Yes, no, week before last. This is my new budget plan. It doesn't look like much, but as one person would say, I am in the process of franken planning it. That means combining it with something else. But I'm not sure how because I'm just getting new into budgeting anyway. This is one of my goals for the year because your girl spends way too much money on stuff. <laughs> so I need to curb my spending. And yeah, <laughs> that's about it. So, this is supposed to be my new plan for budgeting. I have some things in my life planner, but uh, I felt like it needed to be separated from its mama. <laughs> now, I have here uh, this one. Already had, and I like these things. I like the sticker book, and I got the others I'm about ready to show you for ten bucks at Pat Catan's two weeks ago. And this one is called "One by One Canoe Two," and this sticker book we've all, we've all seen it, which has one thousand five hundred and nineteen pages. And since I don't have the overview, overhead view on my video, then I'm going to show you some. If my lighting will allow it. We got that. And we have these. And finally, one other preview is this. And I looked at it and I think it's mostly things that have to do with nature it has to do with the wilderness and i'm looking at this without doing my usually usual goofy face look and i don't see what is all about this is by this one's by dear lizzie oh here they are this is what they look like oh that's what they look like and this is what the one canoe looks like. I knew there was a way of doing things without looking like a goofball trying to show you in the air. And in case you're wondering how Heidi swaps look like, this is the right here on the back. And I have two more. 
And this one is by Paige Evans. And that's what these look like in the back, some of the pages. And this one has 1,163 total stickers. And finally, this one's by Vicki Borton. Borton? Not sure how you pronounce it. B O U T I N. I think it's Bootin. Um, and that's what her sticker set looks like. So, that's it. Other than the fact that I went heart crazy at Pat Catan's, and next week is Valentine's Day, and I have not done a single Valentine. Hmm. <laughs> Well, anyway, like I said, that's it for this haul. I hope you liked it. And again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up short. Thumbs up. Uh, if you are new to this channel and you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to find out when's the next time I'm putting up a video, hit the notification bell and you will be notified as to when I put up a video. And until we see I see you on the interweb somewhere. Have fun and be well and God bless. <laughs>